All right, we're going to talk about a concept called nth roots, and it relates directly to uh, this sort of thing that you guys have seen before. Um, uh, this guy is known as a square root. Um, that we, we call the whole thing a square root, square root of 49. Um, <clears throat> the thing that is uh, above the 49, that symbol, it has a special name. Uh, that's, that sign is known as a radical, and uh, the number that is uh, inside the radical has a special name and that guy's called the radicand and then uh, there's also oh there's something new that I want to introduce but first let me take you back a second so I want to talk about this what, what's the big deal about this square root thing um, the square root is really useful if we have an equation that looks like this and we want to solve the equation. If we want to get x all by itself, one way to do it is we take the square root of both sides of the equation. And uh, you might recall that when we're solving uh, an equation using a square root, over here on the right side we put a plus or minus. But, but the main thing is, is the square root lets us solve the equation. It gives us the ability to get x all by itself with no exponent, and then whatever is left on the other side is whatever is left on the other side. We, we get whatever we get. The main thing is we were able to solve it because of the square root. <clears throat> but here's an issue. What if our equation looks like this? What if we have something like uh, x to the third power, and it equals something like 17? Um, we can no longer use a square root. There's a problem. Uh, so it turns out there's good news, and the good news is this. There is something that's just like a square root that we use when we have a third power, and it's called a cube root. And the cube root has a little 3 that goes right there, and, uh, and, and again, just like the square root, whatever we do to one side of the equation, we have to do to the other. So if we take the cube root of the left side, we'll take the cube root of the right side. And once again, yay, voila, um, we get x all by itself, and it just makes us so darn happy. The only bummer is, is that we're stuck on the other side with a cube root of whatever it is. <clears throat> oh, and as long as I'm introducing this little number 3 here, um, I might as well give that guy a name for you as well. Uh, that guy can be referred to as the index. And the index tells us which root we're, we're taking. Uh, uh, and by the way, there was always an index here in the square root. It's just we never wrote it in. It was implied. Uh, and, and the implied number that goes there is a 2. And it turns out that 2 and that 3, they are directly related to how square roots and cube roots work. And, and we'll get into that during this video. Um, but before we do, I want to point something out to you. Is that uh, when we have, uh, if we can have a square root and if we can have a cube root, then it, I hope that you believe it stands to reason that we might also be able to have a fourth root or a fifth root or a sixth root or seventh or eighth or ninth, whatever. And, uh, and if you were wondering where I was going with this whole thing, um, the, the reason why this whole topic is known as nth roots is for exactly this reason, is that we can have a fourth root or a fifth root or a sixth root or etc. And each of those kind of ends with the, the sound th, right? In, or, or, or in, well, th, certainly. So anyways, uh, fourth, fifth, sixth, these guys are all nth roots, n being the number, either 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or whatever. So anyways, <clears throat> that's kind of the basic introduction to nth roots, uh, is that we need them to solve equations that have powers that are higher than 2, like the third power. And again, I didn't show it to you, but certainly we could have x to the fourth equals some number uh, or x to the fifth equals some number. And, uh, and if we have these situations where, where we have equations with higher powers than two, then we might need a fourth root or a fifth root or a sixth root. Now, I'd like to explain to you guys how the, the roots actually work, um, and for that, I'll start a new video.